It's a, it's a very happy day here in your Seventh day Adventist Church at Plantation, Florida. The Spirit of the Lord is here, everybody. The angels rejoice today as two individuals say, take the world, but give me Jesus, are baptized by immersion, of all their sins washed away, receive the Holy Spirit to abide with them forever and to start new lives with Christ. The first individual is Brianna Aubrey, and as she's coming, I want to let you know that if you are a well-wisher, if you are a, a well-wisher, a family member, feel free to come up a little closer and get a, a, better experience, a better visual experience, as long as you don't block the other people. So Brianna was born in Miami on a Saturday night. Brianna is of Haitian heritage. When she was just a kid, Brianna attended church with her mother. Where is mommy? I don't see mommy. Oh, there is mommy. Okay. And her grandmother in Miami on Saturday. Brianna has many fond memories of Sabbath school and children's story as a child. When she was a teenager, Brianna's great friend Monet Clark. Where is Monet? Where is Mo? Just raise your hand. Here's Mo. Thank you. Invited her to attend the Plantation Self Day Adventist Church. She got involved in Pathfinder. She got involved in AY. She got involved in praise and worship and other youth activities. However, Brianna was never baptized. After high school, Brianna stopped attending church. She got distracted by the world. She wanted to cultivate her own experiences. She wandered away from her God. But after a while, Brianna felt empty and unfulfilled. Something was missing. Brianna craved something bigger than the life that she was living. She started watching Christian sermons on YouTube. She was inspired to return to the church of her youth, to your plantation Saint Adventist Church. One Sabbath morning, Brianna felt moved by the Holy Spirit to attend church. She got up, she got ready, she came to church after quite a while. She was overwhelmed by the new and familiar faces that greeted her when she came here. Brianna wants to be baptized now to tell Jesus that she loves and accepts him and that she wants to serve him, not the world. Brianna wants to grow in her relationship with her God and to share with others the wonderful things the Lord has done for her. Brianna Aubrey. Amen. We, we thank God for Brianna and I'm sure it is so fitting that this is happening on Merge Sabbath, as the Merge ministry has been an integral part of her life here at our church. Thank God for her beautiful young lady, infectious smile. And so, Brianna, because you love Jesus, we baptize you in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the sweet Holy Spirit, let all of God's people say, Amen.
second individual expanding the kingdom of God by her baptism is Claudette Lampkins. Claudette Lampkins. And again, I want to invite family members, baptism for study, um, individuals. Um, just come on up if you care to and be supportive of um, Claudette as she gives her life to Christ. Claudette was born in Port Maria, the capital town of the parish of St. Mary, Jamaica. A place with beaches and fishing and produce, all those kind of things. Claudette was raised in the Anglican Church, baptized in the Baptist Church, attended the Evangelistic Church, where she later served as the church secretary for two years. Mom instilled the fear of God in Claudette and her sisters. Where's mommy? Where's mom? They had they attended church twice on Sunday. In the morning for the worship service and in the evening at four o'clock for Sunday school. And Claudette and her sisters had to get up at 5 a.m. every morning to read the Bible and to pray. Wonderful thing, right? When Claudette graduated from high school, she started working in Kingston. Kingston is the capital city of the island of Jamaica. She started going to fets. She started going to parties. She party hopped often, sometimes going to three parties per night and getting home at four o'clock in the morning. But God had his hand on Claudette. She felt him talking at her heart strings. One Friday night, she had gone to bed when her older sister came and invited her to a house party. The party was swinging. Claudette was dancing. She went out on the veranda and was looking up at the sky when the Lord spoke to her. What if I would come tonight, he asked. What are you doing here? Claudette got scared. She went and told her boyfriend and her sister that she was ready to go home. She realized that there was more to life than parties. God was calling her. He wants her whole heart. Claudette's twin sister, who is here today, uh, Claudine, and her uh, and um, got married to an Adventist pastor. So Claude, um, Claudine and her husband. And also, Claudette's former boyfriend became Adventist, and they tried to persuade Claudette likewise, but she resisted. Claudette is now tired of running from God. Last November, Claudette Googled Seventh-day Adventist Church, and the Plantation Church came up. She called the number. She spoke to the administrative assistant, Joey Moore, she asked a lot of questions. She came to church the next Sabbath, and she has been coming ever since. Claudette wants to be baptized now to serve God with her whole heart. She plans to work for God by caring for the homeless, and she's already doing some of that with, with, with Jesse. She's looking, she likes looking out for the less fortunate among us. Claudette Lampkin. Amen. We thank God for Claudette's journey of faith. And Claudette has decided that the best party to attend is one in heaven. And so because you love Jesus, Claudette, we baptize you in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the sweet Holy Spirit, that all of God's people say, Amen. you know we meet in person for baptismal study at 10 30 
in the, in the Sabbath morning in the baptismal room right around the corner. We also meet in the afternoon at 3.50 via Zoom video conference for baptismal study. And we also have children's study. And we have our children's baptismal study every Friday night at 7, 7.30 p.m. And I can tell you, if we look around and see what is happening in the world, the enemy is not waiting to get at our children. So if your child says they want to know more about God, please do not hesitate. The only thing that will set them free is the truth and nothing but the truth. So we invite you to join our children's baptismal study. Last night we had a very active study. We have over 10, 12 kids, and they are right there long before I even come on and very active. The children need to be taught up in the Lord. Thank you. The next scheduled baptism is on Sabbath, April 13th, the second Sabbath of April. Now is the time. Life's great purpose is to prepare for the second coming of Jesus Christ, for his return. Prepare now to meet your God. Thank you. 